Hi, welcome to the Quality Maths at Excel C3 June 2016 solutions. Question 1. The functions f and g are defined by f takes x to 7x minus 1, where x is a member of the real numbers, g takes x to 4 over x minus 2, where x is also a member of the real numbers, but x cannot be equal to 2. Because if x was equal to 2, then the denominator becomes 0, and we can't have that. Part A asks us to solve the equation f of g of x equals x. Another way to write these mappings are, instead of f dot dot x, you might see it as f of x equals 7x minus 1. So for whatever value of x you have, you can sub it here. So f of 2 would become 7 times 2 minus 1 similarly for g of x. So you might prefer to write these functions as g of x equals 4 over x minus 2. Before we start to solve the equation in part a, we first need to simplify f of g of x. So to do this, um, we know that we have to work from right to left. So we sub in the function g of x back into f of x. The function g of x is 4 over x minus 2. So if we were to sub this, so assume this is what we'll get, you use as the input for the function f, we would have instead of um, 7 times x minus 1, we would have 7 times what we have inside the brackets here. So 4 over x minus 2 minus 1. Expanding this bracket here, we will have 28 over x minus 2 minus 1. The equation is f of g of x equals x, which now becomes 28 over x minus 2 minus 1, which we have here, equals x. To solve this equation, we move the 1 to the other side. 28 over x minus 2 equals x plus 1. Cross multiply with the x minus 2. So 28 equals x plus 1 x minus 2. Expand the brackets to get x squared minus x minus 2 equals 28. Move the 28 across to the other side, which gives x squared minus x minus 30 equals 0. Factorize the quadratic equation, which would be x minus 6 and x plus 5 equals 0. And this gives us the two solutions of x equals 6 or x equals minus 5. Part B of the question says, hence or otherwise, find the largest value of a such that g of a equals f inverse of a. So whenever you see a question that says hence or otherwise, more often than not, it's not going to be otherwise. It's going to be a hence question. So we need to use what we've just done in part A to answer this question. In part A, we just solved f of g of x equals x. If we apply f inverse to both sides, f inverse and f cancels out, so all that we're left with is g of x equals f inverse of x. x is only a variable, so this is the same as solving g of a equals f minus 1 of a. So we can replace the x's with any letters that we want, and for this question we want to replace it with a. This is what we're asked to solve in the question. So G of find the largest value of a such that g of a equals f inverse of a. When we had g of x equals f inverse of x, we had the solutions x equals 6 or x equals minus 5. Now that we've replaced x with a's, our solution is going to be a equals 6 or a equals minus 5. But we want the largest value, so we're going to pick a equals 6.